Hello, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflection, as written by Pastor Adeboye. My name is Sam Chiedozie. I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Glory Chapel, based in Newcastle, the northeast of England. Our topic for today is Mark of Faith. Our Bible passage is taken from Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 through to 6. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. But Abram said, Lord God, what will you give me, seeing I go childless? And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Then Abram said, Look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your heir. Then he brought him outside and said, Look now toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed in the Lord and accounted it to him for righteousness. Our memory verse is taken from Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. And he believed in the Lord and he counted, accounted it to him for righteousness. I pray that your faith is strengthened today as you listen or view this telecast in the name of Jesus. As we know, it is by grace we are saved through faith. According to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, the Bible says that anyone who wants to come to the Lord must believe that He is, and He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Do you believe that God is God? It is not just what you profess with your mouth. This is a, a premise upon the faith that you have in him. Because of Abraham, as he was not at the time, is quite instructive. He was getting old and God has already promised him that he was going to become the father of many nations. Yet he was aging together with his wife. Out of frustration, he challenged God and asked him why he was making him childless and why a stranger, Eliezer of Damascus, was going to be the heir of his household. The Lord took him out again and told him to look into the sky and count the number of stars there. Abraham was not able to do that. The Lord said to him clearly, that is how numerous your descendants shall be. The next verse is amazing. The Bible records that he believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. The lesson here is that it takes firm belief in the law to be righteous. Righteousness in this sense means to be in right standing with the Lord. Are you really willing to have a right standing with the Lord? You need faith. I love the way Pastor Adibu expressed it in the Open Heavens Daily Guide today. And this is the way he puts it. If you have the key of faith and it is inserted into Jesus Christ, who is the door, and turned, it can take you to any height. That is really deep and insightful. The righteous trust the Lord to the point of foolishness and God never disappoints such people. Our key point for today Different situations call for different levels of faith. In some cases, all you need is just a simple, childlike faith. I'm believing God for you that as you take that faith, God will wrought miracles in your life. God bless you and see you again. Bye-bye.